When working on any size of gate valve, always begin by isolating the pressure from the water line where the valve is attached. Once the local water department field crew has verified the absence of pressure, your valve will be safe for the gear changeout. Please note that the position of the wedge inside the valve can be either opened or closed. To begin, remove the pipe plug cap from the top of the gear housing by unscrewing the cap to the left. With this done, remove the exposed stem screw and washer and set them aside for later use. On top of the valve stem, the key and keyway should all be visible now. Proceed to locate and remove the hex bolts and nuts on the adapter plate, releasing the gearing and plate from the extension and valve body. Before removing the gear housing, observe and remember the op nuts orientation. Once that is taken care of, Lift the gearing vertically for the spur gear or horizontally for the bevel gear and proceed to retrieve the key from the keyway or from inside the gear and set it aside. Moving on, remove the adapter plate from the gear housing by turning the gear upside down and exposing the stainless steel socket head cap screws. Locate and inspect the actuator gasket or O-ring before setting it aside for later use. Proceed to clean both the attaching surfaces of the adapter plate and the new gear housing. Grease the adapter gasket or o-ring and attach the adapter plate to the new gear housing. Make sure that the gasket is properly installed between the adapter plate and the gear housing. Before attaching the new gear and adapter plate, apply grease to the exposed stem, stem o-rings, extension o-ring and keyway and lift and slide the new gear and the adapter plate onto the valve stem. Align the gear housing to the correct orientation and secure the adapter plate to the extension by aligning the bolt holes. Once the bolt holes are aligned, proceed to insert the hex bolts, attach the nuts and tighten. With the gear housing secured, Rotate the gearing op nut to align the keyway. Insert the key and lightly tap it with a rubber mallet until it is flush with the top of the valve stem. Attach and tighten the washer and stem screw and rotate the gearing op nut in either direction to confirm that the gear is moving the valve stem. Finally, reinstall the pipe plug cap and tighten to complete your large valve gear, spur or bevel gear changeout.